let's begin today with the concept of energy resources so what is energy well energy is the ability or the capacity to do work energy is the primary requirement for human day-to-day -day activities and most of the energies we use are from natural sources like coal oil etc for example electricity which we use to power our appliances combustion energy which we use to power vehicles hydro energy etc so moving on to classifications there are two types of energy resources one is the renewable energy resource and another one non-renewable energy resource so what is renewable resource well they are produced by nature and will not get exhausted it means to say that they are present in abundant quantities for example solar energy hydel energy wind energy and geothermal energy which we get from the hot springs below the earth's crust next non-renewable resources well they are the energy resources which are limited and will get exhausted upon excess use that is because small amounts of these resources take millions of years to form for example coal petroleum and uranium which is a type of nuclear fuel moving on to fuels what is a fuel well fuel is a substance containing carbon and hydrogen which on burning with oxygen in the atmosphere produces energy in the form of heat and light well fuels are the main components which are used to power up our vehicles and machines moving on to types of fuels solid fuel is a type of fuel which is available in the solid form wood is a good example which is used for cooking and several household activities then next comes coal in which the main components of this coal is pulverized coal and coke both of which is used abundantly in the construction of roads and we can see it in the form of tar next moving on to liquid fuels it is a type of fuel which is present in a liquid form petrol is a good example which is used to power combustion engines similarly diesel which is a mixture of petrol and kerosene petroleum coke is a special type of liquid fuel which has 90 percent carbon which means that more energy can be produced by it by less cost next moving on to gaseous fuel they are the fuels which is available in the gaseous form natural gas is a composition of hydrocarbon gases such as methane ethane and gases such as carbon dioxide helium nitrogen etc the next type is manufactured gas which is a mixture of solid and liquid fuels some examples are coal gas and producer gas well they are used as industrial power sources next moving on to calorific value well it is the energy liberated by complete combustion of a unit quantity of fuel under normal conditions of pressure and temperature well it basically means that it is the energy we get by the complete combustion that is when all the carbon reacts with oxygen of a unit quantity of fuel under normal conditions where pressure is 1 bar and temperature is 0 degree celsius well the unit for cv is kilojoules per kg for solid and liquid fuels and kilojoules per meter cube for gaseous fuels there are two types of calorific values namely higher or gross calorific value and lower or net calorific so what is higher calorific value well it is the same as calorific value but in addition temperature of the products of combustion is cooled down to the initial fuel temperature well it basically means that the amount of heat consumed by water vapor is also considered whereas in lower there is no consideration of the energy consumed by the water vapor in the products of combustion so next moving on to fuel combustion well it is the chemical reaction between fuel and oxidizer producing energy in the form of heat and light well a reaction is given with an example where petrol is mixed with oxygen in the atmosphere to give byproducts such as carbon dioxide nitrogen etc and heat which is used for the application that is the driving of the machines well the combustion should always be exothermic and not endothermic in the sense it should always produce heat but not absorb the heat well combustion leads to the production of byproducts in the form of gases such as sulfur dioxide carbon dioxide nitrogen etc which are very harmful to the nature and increases pollution at rapid rates hence switching to a cleaner fuel is necessary task so biofuels are the answers so there are fuels which are produced from biological materials such as vegetable oils sewage waste biomass etc well 
This is a type of clean fuel which does not cause any pollution and are abundant as we can produce them at any rates. So the types of biofuels are fuel pellets made from wood chips or sawdust, biodiesels which are made from non-edible seeds such as mustard and bioethanol or simply known as ethanol which is a very famous substitute for the fossil fuels in the automobile industry nowadays which is made of corn, wheat, sugarcane etc. Wow, that's impressive. You have completed a magic today. For more videos, subscribe. Join our Facebook group and Instagram page for group discussion and live magazine videos for exam preparation in an hour. We start at class like community for students to learn from a friend in a simple way and support them in their own languages. If you are willing to be that one friend who saves us at the exam night preparation, then please join us by visiting classfly.n.